shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now today's piece of content is going to be on the small but mighty Phoenix PD-25R. I thought I got the wrong number then. It definitely is a 25R. Um, so this, I mean, this is actually, this is my first year as far as flashlights. I've, I've been on YouTube now for four years, but this is the first year that I've actually been able to look at Phoenix lights. The first two that I did absolutely blew me away with the quality, and they do live up to the hype that people give Phoenix and their lights. But there was one in particular, which was the PD36. Absolutely amazing, the Candela. On that thing has turned me into a bit of a candela snob I'd say um, but for me it was just a little bit too big um, I, I named it at the time as my 2022 tactical flashlight of the year I'll leave a link here um, but yeah just a little bit too big for the pocket not massive don't get me wrong it's not a behemoth um, but for an EDC pocketable flashlight like this I, I just thought it needed to be able, well, I say this not the, the 36 um, but talking to Phoenix, I went, well, you know, we have got a small version of the PD-36 coming out soon, which is the PD-25, oh, which is the one that we have here. Yep, jumped at the chance, they sent one through to me, so thank you, uh, Phoenix, for sending this to me. But as always, uh, all of my review content, these are 100% my opinions, I've not been paid for to favorably review these it's, it's a discussion that I always have with with each of the manufacturers um, but this is a good I, I want to say good this is a great light and certainly something that you should consider definitely looking at in 2022 and beyond now what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look at this whilst I'm doing that if you do enjoy this content at any point please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button that would be amazing and if you do enjoy this or you find that it's actually really useful and you think I'd like to buy that chap a pint then check out the new thank you button just below the screen um, to do that as well but for now let's turn the camera around and take a closer look at the Phoenix PD 25R. So here we have the PD25R. I'll do a quick unboxing, um, but hopefully you can see on here that we are up to 800 lumens, 25 meter throw, which is incredible. Gonna have to talk about Candela when we're talking about this light. Battery that's in there, and plus if I bring this up here, uh, hopefully you can get a good read on that so I don't know if you want to pause this or just have a look but it does go through all of your turbo high medium low eco uh, and all of your time that you do get with that but I will touch on that when we have a look at this in the dark now unboxing this uh, you generally tend to find that unboxing wise uh, with Phoenix lights that you that they are that you, there's quite a bit in there so you have your uh, light with the clip already installed when you open in here there is some warranty information there is also so there's warranty information uh, a little bit of marketing about some of the other things they do the instructions now the instructions with this and I will you know I doth my cap to uh, to Phoenix the instructions that they have are possibly some of the best instructions that you get with uh, with, with any lights you have all of the extra little bits so there are a couple of uh, o-rings in there uh, there's a lanyard as well this is fully rechargeable so you they, they also include um, a short um, USB type C cable and you also get this as well now when I was unboxing this so I was I, my daughter just happened to come back from school as I was doing it she's like oh they're so cute um, but you get this little you get this little um, sleeve that you can put it in I mean how cute is that it's yeah it's cute um, but you know you, I, I mean you're gonna keep this in your pocket all the time really aren't you so I'll just put that to one side so let's just make sure we are in focus focus um, okay so this is the PD 25R and we'll give you some information about this because I know you guys really want to see this in the dark so I'll try and get through this as quickly as possible we'll also have a look at some other similar flashlights as well just so that you can get some kind of comparison against other popular flashlights that are out there so as far as the length of this comes in it comes in at 92 millimeters uh, and it's 
24 millimeters, which is roughly an inch, 25 millimeters is, uh, is, is an inch, and it comes in at 6.2 millimeters or 6.6 6 point, uh, sorry, 3.62 millimeters. I uh, struggle to read because hey, hashtag I'm thick. Um, uh, as far as the weight is concerned, uh, it comes in at 78 grams. It's constructed from an anodized aluminium, which you do tend to find that you get with a lot of these style lights. Uh, apart from this little tail bit, likes to get pocket lint in there because it's a little bit difficult to, uh, to, to get it out. But anyway, um, so yeah, it comes in at 78 grams and that is including the battery in here. Now, as far as the charging is concerned, and actually, no. Before, before I get before I get on to this, so one of the things that really impresses me about Phoenix lights is just the quality of them. Whenever I do a flashlight review, when I when I unscrew a tail cap or wherever there's something that can be unscrewed, I, th I think it was my granddad. I think it probably was my granddad that you know he wasn't an engineer, but he loved engineering. He had a passion for that sort of thing, so. He'd, he'd, he'd look to see how smooth things were to be able to undo. So I, I've done, a, I've done a, a good turn and a half of that. As far as the play in between the threads, there is no play. Here, there's no play and it's just come undone. The tolerances on all of the um, Phoenix lights that I've tested so far are absolutely impressive. Impeccable. Similarly with here as well. So this is this is the tail cap that you can unscrew so that you can get the uh, the battery out. But on this side, just here underneath the uh, the actual main operation switch, there's some more knurling on here so that you can turn this round. And this is how you can unscrew it so that you can get into the USB Type C port. But again, the um, this is it, rather than it just having a single thread. I think there's a double thread on here, so it um, it goes up quite quickly. Um, but it is absolutely buttery smooth. There is a um, an O-ring in there, and there's also an O-ring at this end as well, just to make sure that uh, no dust or debris get in there. As far as the dust and water ratings are concerned on this, Phoenix have done a full dust and water rating, and it comes in at IP68, which is, uh, I think that's the highest that it will go. You'll tend to find with some of them, they'll say an IPX8, which just means that they haven't tested the dust. The first number refers to the dust, the second number refers to uh, water ingression. Uh, so if you see that it is an IP68, you know that somebody's actually tested both of those. Um, but getting back to the weight, I did mention, I suppose it links in with the charging as well, but the battery that it is in here is this little cute thing. How nice is that? Uh, so it's a 16340 battery, which is 700 milliamp hours. One of the huge advantages with this is though, that if you're out and about and you you know you haven't got any charge on this, but you need to get something so that you can, you know, whether it's disposable or if you have some other batteries that just happen to be lying around if you have a CR123 battery it will fit perfectly in there so you have multiple sources of battery to make sure that this can keep on working so you can have maybe your one that you always keep in here that is always charged maybe you've got a, a spare um power adapter not a power adapter uh, a, a large capacity spare external battery that you you keep topped up but if that was to have some issues then you can walk into a store pick up a CR123 battery drop it into here and it'll just work straight away that is a great feature i think People thinking outside the box i know i did a rovivon review recently where they have a dual battery in there so there's a rechargeable one but you can also put in a triple a battery into there as well i think it's good that flashlight companies are starting to think more around well uh, you know these things do run out of battery from time to time and if there's an option that makes it easier for people to be able to get another battery in there um then yeah it makes perfect sense that that they should do that doesn't it so coming through to the end, now you have your um, the, the LED unit that is in there, but 
I just want to spend some time talking about Candela. I've mentioned this a few times. If you're not, if you're new to Candela, this is what sets this light apart from other similar sized flashlights that are out on the market at the moment. So Candela is the measurement of how much light is shone on a certain point. So just to just to take two lights and again yeah i'm i'm certainly not picking on this light it just happens to be one that i have with me at the moment this is a this is 1500 lumens and there's a candela of 7900 this is an 800 lumen flashlight but at its top when it is on um it, it's 800 lumens has a 1500 uh, sorry it has a 15000 candela so 800 versus 1,500, but 15,000 versus 7,900. Half the lumens, twice the candela. What that means is, so it, it, imagine you've got all of those 800 lumens. If we were thinking of pounds per square inch, if I had one kilo, but it was spread over a meter, I'm not going to feel a lot of that weight pressed down on me. Whereas if I had one kilo that was maybe on the size of a, of a penny, I'd feel that a lot more because a lot of that weight was being forced down onto a smaller area. And that's exactly how Candela works. So these, these 1,500 lumens that you get from this one shine out into quite a wide focal area so all of those 1500 lumens are spread evenly well actually not evenly but you know there's, there is a bit of a warm spot spread over a large area whereas with the pd25r the 800 lumens that are um that come out of this sorry i think we've just come out of focus there the 800 lumens that come out of this because the candela is twice the amount, over 15,000 um, candelas or CDs, it's focusing that onto a, such a smaller, finer area. So on its lowest, this is uh, five lumens, but it's crazy. It doesn't feel like five lumens, mainly because all of those five lumens are on a, such a smaller area. So the reflector on this um, is brilliant and this is why i've become a little bit of a candela snob because for five for the for the the lowest on this on eco mode the five lumens that you get out of this feels like 10 times the amount and it it's five lumens that on the eco mode that just feels crazy you you light up what you're looking at so much more but what it does mean is similar to more like a searchlight where you'd have just that one spot on somebody the spill over is a little bit is, is quite a bit less so you don't see as much around you whilst you're out walking i, I won't keep talking about this because hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense when when we do have a look at this in the dark now as far as the you oh sorry i did mention i forgot to mention that there is also a pocket clip on this and it is one of these double ones so whether you want to push something through that way or through that way as well you can you can affix this to something whichever way you choose unfortunately because there is the tail switch on this there's no battery integrated into the tail switch so you you can't battery i meant magnet sorry so you can't magnetize this and put it onto something also the tail switch is just proud by maybe a millimeter or two from uh, from these uh, the, the kind of the reinforced stoppers around these these little shields so you can't sit it stood up so that maybe you want uh, maybe you want to stand it up on something so it projects the light up onto the roof and you, you get that nice spill which is a real shame if that was just in ever so slightly it would mean that that would be guarded more um, and yeah you, you you could stand it on its end but again it, it's certainly a a trivial kind of minor point for me uh, but a lot of the other things on here far outweigh um, some of the some some of the negatives now so I mentioned so you have your tail switch and then you also have a mode switch and that's really the best way to think about it so on the end here you have your on and you have your off there's no double clicks or or anything kind of special like that I mean you can double click the heck out of it if you want but um, it doesn't change anything as far as the operation is concerned it's click click for on or click for off and that's to stay on you can do your um, like a, a half press if you wanted to do some sexy kind of 
Morse code sing, uh, signaling kind of action. I'm just going to take this pocket clip off for a second. Um, but, you know, on, off, simple as. Now, when it is on, this is where your mode switch comes in uh, and you simply press to cycle through all of the modes. So at the moment, we are on low. Uh, sorry, I'll go through these again. We're, we're on the eco mode. Then we go up to low, medium, high, and then we've got turbo. And then press it again and it'll go back down to low. Personally, I don't mind this UI. It, it doesn't bother me that much mainly if you if you've if you've watched quite a bit of my um, flashlight or torch content generally I tend to keep things on either low or eco so having this on the low mode that it's on now it's very rare that I change this out of this I don't have predators locally that I need to be able to get on to maybe a, a turbo mode or, or, or anything like that I certainly don't worry about being startled or you know um, but it does mean that you have to one turn it on and then you have to cycle through them on with a separate button to be able to go through the different modes so it's definitely a two-stage UI but if you're the type of person like me that and it says turbo, there's low, just keeps it on the same mode, you're certainly not going to have any, any issues with this. Um, now, as I mentioned, so that there, there are all of your different modes. Uh, there is a step down, which again, we, when we have a look at this outside, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the, the step down on here. And there is also a, uh, a strobe mode as well. So whichever mode that you're in, whether you're in low, medium, in fact, let's, let's do it on medium here. If you do a long press on the mode button, it will then put it onto your strobe. While I'm doing that, just look, and, and, and this perfectly shows the candela. It should pick it up really well on the camera here, especially, um, about just how fine uh, and defined that warm spot is here on here on my hand as far as heat management is concerned it does a reasonably good job at heat management um, most modern day flashlights when they're on the uh, when they're on the highest mode you will find that they will start to get hot um, but this does have some heat management in there to make sure that it will kick down uh, as soon as the the heat starts to uh, starts to rise to a point in which it will start to damage the circuitry that's in here now what I wanted to do quickly as well before we have a look at in the dark now I have brought out so I actually made some content on this the other day um, and it's strange that I'm talking about this one, just how much I prefer this one because of the Candela. But the Baton 3 Pro, again, you know, these have both recently come into my top five EDC flashlights. But when you compare the two of them, as far as the diameter, I think this one, this one is 94 and this one, again, is 94. There's very little difference between them. Size-wise, uh, the, the Baton 3 is just ever so slightly heavier. Um, but with this one, you've got your simple on and off, which is the, one of the main differences between the two. However, pound for pound, size-wise, they are a very, very similar light. Then we also have the Olight i5T. Um, completely different, again, in the fact that this is a double A flashlight, uh, just with the simple functions of, of the single tail switch. But again, for a similar, you know, um, size, pocketable EDC flashlight, there's not that much difference between the two, especially in, in I mean, I'm talking about the length here. You, you'll probably be able to see quite easily that the, the i5T is, is quite a bit slimmer but even again it, it's not th this isn't a, this isn't a particularly fat or chody um flashlight and then just for an additional comparison sorry i just leaned past the microphone there this is the sofern uh, sc21 so quite a bit shorter but again when you look at them there's very little difference in between uh, in between the diameter on these um, this was my little sleeper one this year um, this really impressed me with just how small and compact and the amount of light that this this uh, this shines out uh, but defeated by this purely I'm going to say it again down to the candela and just how impressive of from the amount of light that it shines out of it to how well that light is actually used now let's let's 
stop the hyperbole sorry i think we've just gone out of focus again but let's actually get into seeing what these lights look or at least what this light looks like outside in the dark so here we have the pd 25r in the dark now we're on the lowest setting that we have here this is the eco setting and this is your five lumens now five lumens tends to be a little bit more than you find on a, a, a moonlight or a firefly or or an eco style setting and with the increased candela that you get from this um, the, the reflector on this really does help to push the candela and to push those lumens onto more of a focal point so although it is only five lumens it genuinely does feel that it's more than that it's it, it's very cool how it does it I, I, I certainly liked its big brother the PD 35 and I, I think this is the same it, it just although it is only five lumens it genuinely feels that it's more be, because it because of um, the candela and being able to force a lot of that into a more localized area now just getting closer as well so i'm about i don't know 50 centimeters away from the road here uh, but you can see that there is a, a nice little warm spot on there so with a simple press I go from low, uh, sorry, I go from eco up to low. So let's start to look at some trees now. So we have a tree here. This one is a roughly about five meters away from me. There's another tree, which is probably about 10 meters away. And there is another tree. You see, you just get that rough bit on the, uh, on the branch there. So that's about maybe 12 no sorry that's about 15 maybe 20 meters away or so and then looking up into here you can see that you do get quite a bit of detail from this light being able to see up into the canopy here on the right hand side being able to see into the woods and again so this is this is only 13 uh, sorry 30 lumens on the low mode but again, because of the increased candela that you get with this, more of those 30 lumens are being um, shone on a, on, a, on a smaller area. Uh, so it does intensify the amount of light um, that, that's, uh, that's, that's being produced or is, I suppose, being directed into that. So that is the low mode. Uh, on 30 lumens now with a simple press of the button i can jump this up into the medium mode which is 150 lumens i just need to take a step back because i have moved forward so here's that tree that we first looked at up into the canopy within the tree it's about five meters away again about 10 meters away for this tree this is really where that candela and the uh, the reflector that comes in here I was going to say speechless. That 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 sounds like that. I mean, that sounds ridiculous. But the way in which the reflector on this, it the the camera really doesn't do a good job of really showing just how well this light works. So here again, this is the one that I said that's about 15, 20 meters away, and then further down the road. Now, for other lights that I would struggle to even see this tree at 150 lumens, I can see further down the road. I can see the bend, which is probably about 60 meters down. Unfortunately, again, you know, you, you, know, you really don't get a good idea, again, of, of the light on here. But sweeping around into the woods, you just can, you can see further through into, uh, into the shrubbage. Um, at, the, at the detail behind those maybe if I come on this side as well you can see see if I get that I mean that's that's a really good angle mainly because you've got the tree here you've got some barbed wire and then I can see past that probably about 10 meters or so in there and I can see the detail on all of those branches so that is medium now with another press I can then take this up to high which is 350 lumens so again, here's that tree looking up into the canopy around that tree. Uh, this one was about 10 meters. There we've got our 15, 20 meters. Again, looking up into the canopy. So this is 350 lumens. 
The candela on this really does help to push that light. Let's, let's see if we can get this back in focus, sorry about that. But for 350 lumens, start to be able to see down there. Unfortunately, again, the camera doesn't do this justice, but I can see quite a distance down there, even closer with more clarity into that corner, bringing this back this way so that we can get back into focus. I know that I've talked about in the past the light that Phoenix lights are, are able to produce and I don't know it's weird I, I don't want to this just to kind of turn some sort of I don't know cliche or or hyperbole but I don't know the, the, the quality of the light the definition of the light the clarity it just seems almost a step up almost I, I, again I don't want anybody overgill the lily on it but it's just it's just it's, it just appears it just feels to be a different quality of light i think some of that does come down to the fact that the candela is boosted on this the reflectors on this do an incredibly good job of being able to funnel that light so for 350 lumens looking up into the canopy here it just seems way more than 350 lumens now so this is the high mode as i say so that's 350 lumens i can then bump it again which then takes it up to turbo which is our 800 lumens and being able to see down there is so much more clearer i can see the corner hopefully you can pick this up i know it does look a little grainy um it is hard to see but 60 70 meters down there where the bend is yeah, very, very easy to see from 800 lumens. There's that light, uh, the tree there that's about 15, 20 meters away. These closer trees, being able to see into the bush here, it's just so much easier to be able to see deeper, deeper into these trees and the clarity that you get from them. Is another car going past? Generally, I've never had so many cars pass me. Um, when, when, I've, when I've been out filming like this. Um, so yeah, really, really impressed with the PD25R. Um, I think for a pocketable EDC flashlight, I think this is gonna be hard to beat. If I did have a top 10 or top five EDC pocketable flashlights, the PD 25R would undoubtedly be on there. Now the last little bit to, that I haven't really mentioned is the is the strobes. If I if I keep my finger down on this, here you can see the strobe, and this has a variable refresh on there. So if you did need to use this to, I don't know, give somebody a headache, then you can 100% do this. Or certainly if you needed to shine this in somebody's eyes, just to give you a second to be able to get away from them this would do a very good job of giving somebody a headache. Now the PD25R has definitely, very quickly, become one of my favorite EDC flashlights. The size, the weight, the functions, and again, you know, I mentioned this at the beginning, but these Phoenix lights really have turned me into a bit of a Candela snob. It's only 800 lumens, but it, all, it appears or you know when you when you're using this in the dark it outshines out distance out throws other flashlights other torches that are that have two or three times the lumen levels because of how well it channels the 800 lumens that it has into this perfect path of light the quality, the clarity of the light that it manages to do, and I don't know how Phoenix do. I don't know whether. I mean, I don't know whether it. It's probably a possible a combination of them all. Whether it's 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 the uh, the reflector, whether it's the LED, it's the power. Man, I, 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 I don't know whether it could even be the glass on the front. But the quality of the light that they do, the clarity of the light, again, is really good. I'm I'm trying not to appear at this point like I'm just trying to just blow smoke up phoenix's arse but hopefully by this point i made it a little bit more clearer that there's a lot you get a lot of hype around phoenix lights a bit of hype you know um but they're very well liked and i think once you get one you can see why they're well liked if that makes sense
Hopefully that makes sense. Now what I'll do is I'll leave some links in the description below so that you can see more from Phoenix, uh, the PD 25R. I'll also link to the PD 36 as well, which was a, the one that really got me hooked. Um, the, I suppose the daddy of this one. This is the illegitimate step grand child in I, I don't know I'm not going to argue with that one but anyway all of those links will be below I'll also leave some of my social media links as well but for now stay safe stay Morelander and stay EDC illegitimate step grandchild it's what my meds shoot hi I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC Sorry about the background noise, they're all at it today. Getting straight into it, if you're... No. Fuck. Oh yeah, by the way. That is the peace sign. That is the do one sign. You see a lot of people going, Yeah, peace man! It's like, that doesn't mean peace. That means F off. It's a strange bugbear, isn't it? I don't even know why I'm adding it to this bit, but that is peace. If you're ever in the UK and you go, peace, you're gonna get a punch. Um, you know, public service announcement, peace, F off. Um, yeah, I wouldn't walk around other countries going, yeah, peace, man. Um, sorry about the offensive, offensive finger there. Oh, I'm gonna keep that in. Oh, please. Just carry on. Shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander, and this is Morelander EDC. A few weeks back. But actually, do you know what? This is my first year. This really is my first year as far as Phoenix lights are concerned. And the Phoenix light that I have now kind of, I think, has become very quickly one of my favourite um, chicken. That was a burp. That was a burp that time, not a hiccup. Although I do have hiccups. 